Hi guys, we're with Catherine from Inwin. She has come uh, especially here to see Bit Australia to showcase her brand Inwin because there's a Taiwanese delegation at the event this year. And for their 30th anniversary, Inwin has commissioned some special premium cases and Catherine is going to show us uh, these anniversary cases and what's so special about them and why the infusers should care about this. I'll leave it over to Catherine now. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm Australia, New Zealand Channel Sales Manager. Today I would like to show you our signature case, x 2.0. So, this case was launched to in celebration of Inwin's 30th anniversary. It's um, based on the professional case bench design. So, it has a detachable rotating stand. So, it allows the user to have a case like stand out vertically like uh, what you see now. Okay, then, so you're addressing a problem that has been with all these different open frames. Mm -hmm. Before the user has an open frame, I would put it flat on the table or you stand yeah. it up. So you're solving a problem with this design so the user they can do whatever angle they like. Yeah, especially it's convenient for the, like a media editorial PC reviewer. They can actually show the components here and then it's very convenient for people like they want to uh, access to every component. So they can change the component quickly and easily. And the other special thing about this case you also found it with the 1016 by Wild Power Supply. It's, um, last year was in its 30th anniversary, so we designed a power supply exclusively, exclusively just for the x And Inwin have uniquely put a light switch on this power supply, something you won't find anywhere else. You can see just on the side. So, Catherine, so. Your, the key feature of this XRAM 2.0 is we have the flexibility of the stand. Yes. So what type of expand, what type of features in the, in the chassis that can use the expect so in terms of water cooling, what's the, how big a motherboard, disk drives just overall. So here we can see there's some space for some yes. fans. Yes, we understand there's an increasing demand for the water cooling system, so we include a space for 360 millimeter radiator. Okay, 360. In total, how many radios can somebody put in this uh, chassis here? Uh, just here. <laughs> just, 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 yeah, just one here. But we do include a water cooling mounting bracket here. So okay. you can mount your. So we mount the tank pump. and the pump here, so yeah, we've got so space. Like a versatile mounting bracket. So basically, we've designed this to be a more elegant solution than rather than be more flexible and have, say, for example, put maybe five radiators on this or 20 disk drives, something you want to have something a bit more mm -hmm. elegant, a bit more fun functional in terms of the design, in terms of having it rotate and the styling and so on material. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's correct. And the other thing is uh, it's actually fully constructed with aluminium, so aluminium. you can feel the material is very solid. Yep. This and handle's quite this quite a rugged handle here. Yeah, so it's actually bigger, heavier than the original x friend we launched before in 2012. So the motherboard size, this one, does yeah. it take a, is a standard motherboard oh. only or is it a large motherboard? Uh, it can fit in the motherboard up to E80X. E80X. Yeah, so it can do a pretty powerful system for this case. And so we, have, we see some uh, brackets here for accessory. Do this come off so somebody can put even larger motherboard? Yeah. Um, yeah, they did with the thumb screw. Yeah, so you can you can remove all the. So somebody that have maybe dual socket yeah, workstation very, server, you put that there and it fit there. Yeah, it's very flexible. It's like a PC case I can use. You can quickly remove all the accessories here, or you want to like a uh, keep here, so you can put the SSD. In okay, the so these, things. so these the drives go here. They don't go in the back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can the user put anything on the back if they want, or just uh, stand but in the back? Area, the show that uses the, the oh uh, see 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 guys see that's the point of this whole thing. Sorry. We're just turning it around nicely on the stand. We don't have to pick it up. So if you're loading this up with the full full system build, you just turn it very it turns very smoothly, and it has the has the yes. old screws there. Special and so there's there's a drive base here. Yeah, so there's okay. a drive base. So it's also tourless. So you can quickly release the hard disk drive or yep. SSD. And the screwdriver holder is special for professionals who want to test the component. So they can quickly change the component and then... Yep. Just, just, from, just from turning it around, I can see there's a great benefit 
to having this rotating stand just smoothly turning it back and forth I don't have to pick it up to the back again yeah, otherwise other than the yeah. so we are oh, we have some more expansions here so we've got two more on the other side and we have this is the mechanism for the oh yeah so you can just yeah. position position it horizontally as well okay. so, it's, uh, the other so so we can see a mechanism here so can, does this hang on the wall if somebody wants to take this off or there's uh, no option for this is uh, too much to remove here um, I think it will some, be hard to we have seen we have seen some other DIY uh -huh. chassis some people I think some other brand yeah. I won't name the brand they hang them on the wall yeah um, I reckon it will be a bit too heavy to hang okay. them because the material we use is very solid and it's like aluminium but you can actually remove the stand and then just have the um, this tube just lie, lie down on the table yeah so just stand. use it as a normal tray so yeah, like a chassis like a normal tray, so it's and so so Catherine, this whole chassis is aluminium and clean the stand because this is yeah. very, very heavy metal here. Or yeah, is this cast? Uh, it's a uh, cast, uh, cast steel for this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just the, the, this, this the chassis stands, is a... Yeah. Okay, and, and all, the, all these pieces that are user, they can remove all these pieces. So this piece here... This piece here, um, even the handles they remove, is it? Or oh, it's all removed if somebody uh, yeah, wants. Yeah, if you just uh, unscrew the uh, screw here, you can remove. Uh, so, Cam so sure Catherine, is there any? Sp so we have. We look, we, again, we're looking at the fancy power supply here. Is there any f special feature of the power supply? Uh, Other than we just looked at the light already. Is there anything the else? Line, you also have the quick charge USB 3.0. So even when you turn off the system, you can still charge your mobile phone from the USB port. So we have fully modular here, and we have some. Uh, what is this switch here? Oh, you can actually change the mode. So it has a full mode here. Like for this one, for example, if you want to display the system, you can just put it continuously. Even when you turn off the system, like there's still external adapter inside the power supply, so you can still run the water cooling or fan. So okay, so which, so this switch control these ones here. Yeah. Not anything power. else. No, no. All right, anything. so. The, uh, so, right, so they just said the, the, Inwin have put a switch on their power supply to control the standby power. I'm not sure how useful to that it is to you guys. It's probably for the, running your pump or something like that. And it's on an angle. Why is it on? Do you know why it's on an angle, Catherine? Oh, the thing is like when you have it as a test bench, you want yep. to have a user really easy to assist to the cable here. So we have a whole uh, uh, component facing directly in front of the user. Yeah, but this power supply is on an angle. Yeah, so the main thing when we do like a test Does this change or? No, it's just like fixed like this one. So it's like, it's actually facing direct to the user here. So we can like turn off the power supply directly. Yeah, in my opinion, I would have it the other way. Because I would be pulling these wires out a lot. I would want these facing the user and not these are facing down. Uh-huh. So this is yeah. number, I guess this is? 98. 98. 500. Five, 500 globally, people. Mm -hmm. And this come only in red? Uh, you also have uh, uh, NVIDIA green. Also okay. Like an Intel blue. So we have a three color choice. Because we know that some people want to use a different color. And no lights in this case? The lights? No lights. Um, only <laughs> the lights in PSU. Yeah, but the thing is like we want to have an end user to like customize yeah. their own system so they can so, customize their own Well, like from what I can tell, Catherine, there's a very uh, high quality case in terms of the manufacturing. You know, I'm running my hand over the, um, these brackets, all the edges are smooth. Yeah. Usually I cut my fingers, I got a lot of scars <laughs> from different cases. Yes. And so this is, this is clearly for somebody who has a very... You know, they're looking for something extremely high quality yeah, and something unique. Work. So we're, we're a week away from Computex. What can we what can we expect from Inwin the rest um, of the year? Just give us a hint yeah, in terms so of ideas year, coming from uh, Inwin. Yeah, this year we're going to launch a new signature case at Computex. The next wing box. Actually, we already have a preview video available on the YouTube. So the main feature about the case 
it's about face recognition. But I can't tell you anymore. Face about recognition. It. Yeah. So it has some devices to do face recognition. Yes. Okay. When you mean a signature case, do you mean a signature case in the theme of this X frame, uh -huh. or do you mean something like this 909 in terms of a more typical case, and you have special, you know, the features we're going to see in the future? Uh -huh. What do you mean by a signature case? I mean something like this. Uh, something like so. All the limited edition case we will call okay. it a signature case. As I for this kind of case, actually, it takes out about like a year to produce because okay. we also need to come up with a new concept. We need to do better than the last. So, Catherine, does it typically take you, your company a year to design these sorts of things, the special ones? Uh, yeah, depends. What about something like this, more mainstream enthusiast case? Six uh, months, maybe? Yeah, Less? It could be three to six months. Okay. Yeah, so this one is like, uh, we always have our in house designer company come out with a different kind of either mainstream case or like a signature case. But signature case, as we are more. Critical for this yeah. kind of design, so we might go. So, like well, what are you going to see from these sorts of things? I mean, the 303 and the 909 is a couple of years old now, I think. Yes. Yeah. So, are we going to see some sort of fancier, this sort of, this sort of style for those enthusiasts who don't have a lot of money, they want to spend a couple hundred dollars uh -huh. for some very high quality, you know, aluminium and glass from reputable case companies such as yourself? Yes. We're going to see probably a refresh maybe this year. Uh, this year. We don't have a refresh for 909 yet. But well, mainstream, mainstream refuses case, not the special edition ones. Oh, uh, mainstream we have a 101, so it's also like a ABS oh. case, all size than a 303. But okay, so we'll show how we use it for this. So 303 is your micro ATX offering. Yes, yeah, so it's a little border for the 303. Okay, yeah. So it's, I think, yeah, a bit more hybrid. So some people want micro ATX, some people want ITX, they want less different options than a smaller case. Yeah. Okay. So this one, uh, you also have a very similar exterior, like a 303 tempered glass side panel, up-mounting propulsor. And, and for our readers, just, just so they know, this case here has the uh, in its own lighting system, which they call Aurora. We're not going to touch on the lighting system at the moment, we'll touch it later in the later review. But they're just showing it here to show that they do have a system, they do, have, they do know how to make such a thing, and they have the in-house expertise, and so on. So, so we were very appreciative, Catherine, to this is very unusual for a case vendor to shop at CBIT these days because yes. CBIT is mostly business orientated uh -huh. and shows that their interest into the enthusiast market, into the component market is not wavering. They have a very high quality R&D, very high skill. They've been making, how long has Inwin been making cases now? 30 years? Uh, for 30 years. So we found it in 1985. Yeah, but before many focused on the PC stand chassis. So you're going to be very hard pressed to find another PC chassis maker that much experience as Inwin. And for those who don't know, Inwin is an OEM for many other companies. For example, Asus, HP, some of these companies that come to Inwin and Inwin makes these cases for them because these other companies do not have the experience in house to make chassis anymore. And it's up to Inwin and some other companies in Taiwan that to fill this uh, uh, space in the market and to come up with very innovative and very quite strange cases such as this. I want to thank Catherine for her time to talking to us at notchway.net about your cases. Thank you, Catherine.